Howdy guys, I'm Ram Johnson, and this time on Auto Edits, we're gonna be, you know what, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sorry guys, it's me, your buddy, Jeep and Jason. I had that little disguise on because we haven't worked on the truck in a while. I didn't wanna make, make you guys feel like I was leaving the truck out, but uh, today we have a good one. We're gonna do a fun two-year comparison between the oiled air filter and this dry element we've been running. It'll be a good one. Did I mention I have a pipe? So as some of you guys may know, I installed the Delta Force by Flowmaster. Uh, cold air intake into the Jeep, January of 2019, so almost two years ago as of shooting this video. So I've had the same element in here and it's the dry element. I opted for the dry element instead of the traditional oiled element. I had a can and drop-in filter before this. So what we're gonna do now, when I installed this and we pulled out the old filter and put this one in when i took this tube off where we're going to do actual science and do some checkup stuff is we're going to actually pull this tube off and check the intake to see because what we found was that the oiled air intake really created quite a goopy glob on the throttle body here so i'm hoping to see now that i've had this intake on for about two years now let's take let's go ahead and take this element off and show you this now here's two things i want to show you here the way you maintain this guy is that you just take it off and then you blow it out and now i ordered this extra pre-filter they call it and this is just because a lot of the baja trucks run these things and I discovered something really interesting just recently on the truck. I'll show you that in a minute about this guy right here, about keeping it clean and when to run it. Interesting data to come for that. So that comes off. And then the way I would just maintain this over the last few years, many, many trips, is you just take it off and then you take your air gun and you just blow the thing out. Now you can see this is a healthily used many, many trips, lots of miles, two year old dry air element. And so what I would do is I would just knock the big chunks off, maybe hit it with a, a, a brush, like a, a, a car wash brush, and then hit it with the air hose. And so I'm just assuming two years is enough. It doesn't ever really look super clean. Although the inside here, if you can see inside here, pristine. And that's the point here is that that is not getting inside the engine. and now, is this something that saves money? Like if you wanna think of it this way, an oiled element means that you just rinse this, wash it off, re-oil it, put it back on. So you don't really save money by going this way. So it's not that. Performance wise, does this make a difference between the oiled air filter? Now, this is give you the example of the k and drop-in filter that I had in here before. Uh, again, I. This thing actually worked great. I was totally fine with this. Go watch that, the install video when I put the, the Delta Force in. And uh, this thing was absolutely fine. I tend to be really good with maintenance on certain aspects of my Jeep or my vehicles. And then certain things I just let go. It's really interesting. I do my oil changes, I take care of suspension and tires and all that stuff. Sometimes I just ne neglect this. Like that hasn't been off in two years. I've only taken this off to blow it out. So the real test here is let's go ahead Ooh, that still has a lot of dirt in it. Let's go ahead and undo this while we're here and do the comparison, because that is gonna be the, the test. This is where this is gonna get real data-wise. Like, when is it you get a chance to just see what somebody used this element for two years, multiple trips. One of the times I went to Mexico, I was driving in fender deep water and I was afraid that I was gonna just absolutely drown this thing with seawater. We were going through some gnarly stuff and Luckily, keeping forward momentum, good design on that uh, Jeep-wise, keep that forward bow uh, effect going. It didn't suck water in, it did great. You could tell where it got wet, but it didn't actually suck water into the intake. And uh, so thumbs up on the performance over the, this, this time, but let's get this thing off. I mean, this is exciting for me because this is real data. This will actually show us if it protected the throttle body or at least kept some of the gunk associated with the oiling of this thing out of the throttle body. So let's see what this looks like under here. And I can just tell you visually right away, a night and day difference. There's what I would consider a very 
small, normal amount of oil inside the throttle body. That's huge, that's a big success right there. All right, so now that, that we can get out of the way, I do have an embarrassing thing. I kept saying in the install video, I kept calling this the mass airflow on this thing, and uh, it's not the mass airflow, it's just the inlet air temp, and that's just how the Jeep Mopar engine management system works. And look at that thing. Let me bring that in close. Look at that. Spotless. Okay, that is another example of how this thing has proved to be even after two years of abuse with the same element is proven to be really um, quite efficient at keeping the intake clean. That's exactly what you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spray this thing out and we'll put it all back together. This is really cool. Really not bad at all. Still highly recommend doing a cold air intake install where it's legal obviously for you here in california that gets a little tricky it's really a fun and easy install so okay we've got our thing in place it's kind of just exactly what you see here we're actually doing a another reverse install right now i always like to line up my hose clamps snug these back down So I'll put a link in the description to the replacement air filter if you were gonna go dry. Now you could also, obviously they make an oil filter uh, element for this as well if you wanted to do something a little bit more traditional. It's just personal preference. This is just something I wanted to experiment with and it kind of made sense for me to give it a try. There you go, that's it. Now, I will clean this and leave this off for now. I'm gonna move over to the truck and we're gonna swap the element there and I'll tell you why I'm gonna leave this off for now. Okay, just for gratuitous sake, let's start it up. So you can hear what it sounds like from the intake. And that's one of the things I kind of liked about this. It's just the right amount of throatiness. It took a little bit of the silentness out of it, but it just adds a little bit of fullness to the engine bay and it, it's good. You can hear it's a little snappier. Now, the truck pre presents a unique challenge. Um, it has no inner fender flares. It has nothing inside here that to protect this. So this little shield here does a lot here. Now this truck has been to Mexico multiple times, Arizona, lots of big trips. Now, uh, here's the unique thing that, to, that I discovered this last time. Um, the pre-filter on this thing, it was dirty and I was going to, I just got back, I drove to Moab for some work and drove it back and I took the truck just cause it was just the quick easiest and this thing just eats up miles. It's such, it's been just such a great, great vehicle over these years. So I, uh, I just ran it, blew the thing out like I would normally do with the air hose and then ran this thing to Moab. It was about uh, 1500 miles round trip. I was averaging 14 miles to the gallon and that's much, that's like another mile per gallon more than when I ran it with this. Now, could that be just because that this was kind of dirty? It doesn't seem like it's too bad. Or does it actually cut down some of the airflow? Now, where the, the pre-filter comes into play is what you end up doing, or what I end up doing often, is running in a large group of people and deep into that larger, never the leader. <laughs> so that helps just catch some, obviously, some of that fine mist, uh, that fine dust. Uh, that hits that would hit this first and then get into your intake. So that's what these are for. So now what I'm learning is that I'm gonna go ahead, like on the Jeep, clean this, put this in the glove box, and when I go on a trip like that, put it on. But for day-to-day -day use, this thing was noticeably peppier, and like I say, I picked up a, a mile per gallon just by pulling this thing off and running it. And again, two years worth of running, multiple trips here on the channel, and this thing is actually, you know, it looks tired and that's why, you know, it was time to finally order up a set of these things, knew that. And, uh, but again, you could look inside here. This one has a little bit more, I'm just actually noticing right now, uh, a little bit more stuff inside here. Now that, again, 
because there's no inner fender wells, those water crossings and the splashing and things like that, um, it's exposed much more to water straight down in there. So getting another one is another added expense rather than just cleaning one and re-oiling it. But I would say for a year and a half, two years of service, and then this one, will, I'll air blow it out and I'll actually keep it and carry it as a spare. So I'm still good with this. I like this a lot. So we'll grab our freshy and look at that. We've got the logo lined up perfectly. And we'll just tighten the sucker net back, right back down. Okay, boom. <laughs> Pretty easy bit of maintenance, it wouldn't just say. Let's do a cold start on this thing just because. Gotta get my pipe on just to analyze the sound more accurately. I think it sounds good. Happy. All right, so there you go. A quick and not quite so dirty uh, comparison. Hang on. There we go. Uh, two years with this guy, two years with this guy. You guys saw the direct intake manifold uh, or the intake throttle body uh, residual dirt. This one had quite a bit less, so I'm still liking it. Doesn't save you money, no. Does it have you offer a little bit more performance? I think a little bit. So uh, my butt dyno kind of feels like it does and I kind of like the sound and the looks of these things. So there's a quick one for you. File this one in the, hmm, maybe you can apply this to your maintenance or upgrades to your rigs. So thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time, enjoy your drive. All right, time to get some work done.